myself on doing this. And I don't know the players so to explain what I'm doing. I'll let them do that whilst I'm on the throat on this. I've got him coping up on the walls of our bedroom. So we're in the master suite. And uh, we're putting coping up in every room. For a simple reason. I'm not a plasterer. I'm one of the uh, problems I have when I'm plastering is to be top corners. And to be honest, they do look pretty cool when they're done. These are 127 millimeters. Um, I'm using here which is ready mixed coping DC. Now, normally I wouldn't use this, and it's the first time I've ever used this particular product. I would normally use a plastic DC. But, <laughs> Zoe did her usual thing, searched around on the internet and found the coping for free. went out to take a look at it and pick it up and the gent that was giving it to us gave us a full tub of unused adhesive and to be honest I absolutely hate that stuff it's sloppy going on in the majority of places in here, well it is, it's going on there. It's going on to uh, fresh plaster. So I'm just dampening down the area it's going up and um, it's plain, plain area. Got some nails in my pocket. Thank you. 
foot in the last long piece of coving up in the master bedroom using the Wix's ready mixed cove adhesive. As you can see from the previous videos, we already started the room. So Alex is just putting the last long piece on that wall. And then coming back to Mars, take the pins out and fill the corners. And then ready for the first coat of paint. The reason that the corners have gaps in is again, like like I said, for the bathroom, this particular room, well, in fact, none of the rooms are level or square. Um, and unfortunately, when you're doing these cuts and you use a tool, let me just show you. You use this um, coving tool from, um, from Wix. Wix, but I will be doing a um, a review and a comparison um, cutting and cutting the coving using this my particular mitre saw, this tool here and another one that is specifically for coving that I'm waiting um, to get for, delivered. for it to arrive. Um, but I will also be doing a comparison with using this particular stuff, which is the Wix's ready mix. The Wix's ready mix and a board adhesive. Um, let me tell you a bit about this. It works. I'll give you that. Um, it's very runny. And you do have to put the pins in place in order for it to hold. Then you have to leave it at least overnight for it to go off. Um, and the way I particularly put it on is I run two um, filler knives. One of which I load up with the filler which saves me having to drag the bucket um, along with me as I'm going. And I go down one side of it. It's very creamy. Um, if you get it on the coving, you need to get it off straight away. Otherwise, it stains the coving. Yes, it won't show through the paint, but you don't get as smooth a finish. Um, and then you have to go over with a sander, uh, sorry, sanding it by hand. Um, sorry about the ums, I know I'm going to get told off for it, but I'll try and cut them out. Yes, it's very easy, this stuff to use. Um, and for any DIY, again, no problems. But compare it to a plasterboard adhesive. Bear me in mind that this stuff that I'm using is made in exactly the same way as plasterboard is made. Um, the only difference with it is that it's molded into a shape. There are other forms of coving and uh, when I go and pick some more up for the other uh, for the rest of the house or the next room that we do um, I'll actually get some film and show you um, the different types that are available. I'm not going to go and buy the others um, because we just won't use it. In actual fact we had a tradesman in today 
who was measuring up to uh, replace the glass in the windows um, on the front of the house. Um, and is it two windows on the back or just the one? Two um, windows on the back. And for two windows on the back. Uh, and he, his words were, God, aren't you brave? Uh, using the proper, proper stuff. Proper paving as he cheated and got the lightweight one. No, I, I've not used the lightweight stuff. Um, and in actual fact, as I said earlier on, this is a, the first time I've actually used or done coving. Um, what I, I, I've been doing is whilst I've been putting the coving on, is putting a bucket uh, or two buckets underneath. And if uh, Zoe does a little pan, you can see uh, what I mean. And it just holds it up off the floor, gives you somewhere to work. But you do have to lift it up and be gentle when you lift it up because this stuff will snap quite easily. Um, and I got some two point, sorry, 4.2 meter um, coving uh, made by, uh, well, they call it Jip Rock, but made by um, British Gypsum. And uh, I carried it from the van in the middle and the stuff snapped. But luckily enough, I've had some small spaces in which I've been able to um, quite easily use it up. This tub holds six litres. I'll try and work that out um, in gallons and etc. But I think it's four litres to a gallon. So it's about one and a half gallons. Um, and we've managed to be able to do nearly all this bedroom and the main, the main bath. bath, the family bathroom with it. Would I buy it? No. No, I don't think I would. Uh, it's 20, is it 22? 28, I think. 28 pounds a tub, compared to the board adhesive, which is five pounds, six pounds. Um, well, I know you've got to pick it yourself, but. I know you. I, I know you've got to mix it yourself, but you get twenty-five kilos yeah. of the stuff. Um, once I've put this stuff on, I will have to um, stop the recording. I'm afraid we don't at the moment have a tripod for the phone. I will be having a look this evening to see if we can get one at a reasonable price so that we can put the phone on, it, on the tripod whilst we're doing things together. Um, I don't know if I showed you, but I'm going to get Zoe in a minute to stop recording and re-record in a sec to go into the bathroom and show you the um, bath surround. Because I completed that last night and put it on, uh, put the bath in and leveled it. But make sure it's on separate recording now. This is what he's done. Ready to start tiling. 
the back of the bath. 